Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, SKK Engineering. If you haven't subscribed already, now is a good time to do it. So yeah, click that subscribe button for more helpful tricks and tips and let's get started with the video. If you want to check my multimeter review video, I will link that in the description for you. This multimeter has a wide range of voltage measurement functions, up to 600 volts both AC and DC. So today I'm going to show you the difference between AC and DC voltage and how to measure each one of them safely. The DC voltage stands for direct voltage and you can find it very simple, very easy in your batteries as they store direct voltage only. AC voltage is the voltage that most of home appliances use so you can easily find it in your outlets at home. So let's start with the DC voltage. Here I have two 1.5 volt batteries as the name stands. There should be 1.5 volt batteries. So when measuring it, the multimeter should show around 1.5 volts DC voltage. If it's more, then great. The battery is in fine condition, it's charged and it's ready to use. If it shows less though, maybe it's time to recharge it if it's rechargeable or replace it and recycle it. This multimeter has a battery option tester up to 9 volts where it indicates on the display if the battery is good or not. If your multimeter doesn't have that option, you can measure it just with the DC voltage here. Always remember a few things when measuring voltage. Doesn't matter if it's your battery or, or if it's something else. Range of the voltmeter setting should be more than the voltage you expect to measure. So let's say this is 1.5 volt battery and I'm going to put it at least on 6000 millivolts, which is 6 volts or to 60 or to 600 so it always must be more doesn't matter if we're talking uh, about batteries or if you're talking about uh, car battery or if you're talking about uh, AC voltage it doesn't matter the range always must be more than what you expect to measure the thing that is very important as well when measuring voltage is to check the correct position of the probes so the black one must be on the common uh, always and the red one should be on the voltage, for the voltage settings. Uh, when you remember those things about the range and the place of the probes, you should be fine. So, let's get started with the measurement. First, I'm going to show you my multimeter and its uh, battery function. It shows the function 1.5 volt battery. On the display it shows DC, so this is also something you should check. DC, because the batteries store DC voltage and the zero indication on the display. Okay, let's measure this battery. The red probe goes to the positive side, always, and the black probe goes to the negative side. So this is an old battery, and as you can see on the display, it shows it's bad on the top right corner, and it's showing 0 0.5 volts, and it's going down since it's re discharging right now. So this is old battery, and the display here showed it's bad. So we have to replace it. Another one here that I have is actually good battery. It's a new battery and it's showing more than 1.5. You see, since I'm losing the connection, okay, now it's good. And on the display it's showing good. So this means, I'm going to turn that on, so you can see better. It shows good on the top right corner. So this is new battery and it's fine. It's charged and it's ready to use. Also, I wanted to show you if you reverse the probes when measuring a battery, when measuring DC voltage. If I put the red wire, the positive wire on the minus and the common wire on the positive side, on the plus, it's showing the value again but with the minus. So it doesn't really matter, just it's showing that the polarity is wrong on the display. Also, if you don't have this function for batteries, you can put it on 600 volts and still you will be able to measure. I'm going to reverse again the polarity. See, it's 1.5. Of course, now the range is different, that's why it's showing only uh, 1.5. But still, it's showing also the minus sign for the reversed connection. Now it's fine. Here I have another battery that's a little bit bigger but still it's 1.5 volts. 
as it shows here on the you see 1.5 volt battery the same thing stands for that battery as well we choose the range of the multimeter which is set up to 60 right now and we're going to measure 1.33 so this one is discharged also if I'm using the battery tester function you see it says low so this is discharged and right now it's discharging as well it doesn't matter the size of the battery uh, what it matters is the voltage that it's written here in your car for example it could be 12 volts which is probably most of the cases and then you have to put your range of the multimeter on more than 12 volts so if you're expecting to measure the car battery voltage you should put it at least to 60 or some multimeters have option like 20 uh, etc doesn't matter must be more the number must be always more in order for you to be safe and not to damage the multimeter itself yeah this is guys for the DC voltage let's go check the AC voltage in your house in your outlets okay guys since we know already how to measure DC voltage on your batteries very easy very simple very safe we're going to check if this outlet has power if there is voltage and in order to do this we're going to follow the simple steps from before first we carefully choose the range on our multimeters just remember how much voltage you expect to measure and choose the wider the bigger range on your multimeter since I know that in my house it's 220 240 volts I'm going to set the voltage meter on 600 volt AC 600 volt AC also for reference on the display here it's showing AC and it's showing volts so this is another thing you should check uh, in order to be sure the other thing we talked about are actually the probes the black one must be on the comb and the volt must be the volt socket must be the red one very simple very easy we just have to put these two probes inside of the socket inside of the outlet and right now it's showing 237 volts I know this is working because I've never had problems with it everything is correct and there is voltage there is power in my socket now another good thing you can check with your multimeter is where the face and the neutrals are so which one is the face the left one or the right one where is the neutral is it on the left side or is it on the right side so I'm going to check right now by simply holding just the one wire and the other like that in my hand it's not connected anywhere and I'm going to okay here on the left side it's showing 18 volts just remember that the black wire the comb wire is not connected anywhere and still I'm measuring almost 19 volts so probably for sure I know that the left wire the left socket is my face let's measure the right one and showing actually zero because this is the neutral there is no voltage there is no power there it only serves for completing the circuit and closing it now this is the ground and also there is nothing I don't know if you can see there is nothing there is no voltage there is no power there but here there is around 20 volts so I know for sure that this is my face. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you around.